We begin this morning with something plenty of dog lovers had hoped Winter Park City leaders would not do, but this morning they have agreed to move forward with charging a fee for your dog to enter Fleet People's Park. Here's the deal, the fees range from $75 per dog per year for people who live within the city limits of Winter Park. And if you don't live within the city limits, you'll have to pay $125 per year. Tiffany Tift is live at Fleet People's Park. And Tiffany, we just checked in with you about 30 minutes ago. And since then, you've been talking That's to dope. dog owners. Oh, look at those cute little puppies there. <laughs> uh, you've been talking to dog owners out there. How do they feel about all of this? Um, they really are not happy this morning, Talitha. In fact, I have with me Tom um, Nowicki, and you're here with two of your dogs. And mm -hmm. you said from the very beginning you thought the outcome was going to end up like this, right? Well, uh, actually, no. Uh, back in February, we uh, had candidates for the city commission uh, here to meet with uh, people who attend the park to, to give us their positions on the park. And two of the people who were eventually elected and whose votes turned the day yesterday told us in no uncertain terms that they uh, were in favor of no fees for the park and for keeping the park as it is. So, you know, I mean, in this political climate right now, um, I think it's incredibly tone deaf. What people are looking for is integrity and be able to trust that what a candidate says when they're running for office is what they're going to do when they're in office. So we feel betrayed. So, Tom, were you shocked last night when the vote came three to two? And, and now, because you're a Winter Park resident, if you want to keep bringing your dogs here, you're going to have to pay $75 for the first one and $50 for the second one. Correct. Um, I would say, though, uh, to quote another American patriot, you know, we've only begun to fight. So I don't think this is over yet. I was shocked, but I wasn't surprised. I think I'm, I'm coming to see that you just can't trust the people who, who run this city as much as you'd like to trust them. Now, the city says they want to do it because uh, they want to ensure that, you know, this is a people park as well. What is what is your opinion on all this? The Friends of Fleet People's Park uh, last year was assigned by the city to raise $100,000 in order to create improvements for the, the, the on-leash side of the park, the people side of the park. And we were halfway on a way to doing that. We raised $45,000 when the city started again to back off on their commitment to this being an awfully side of the park which cut our knees out in trying to uh, you know trying to raise money to uh, to fulfill our obligations um, I think it's always better when private citizens with an interest provide the money instead of having to make the taxpayers do it and you know we were well on our way so I don't um, I, I I think the city's making a big mistake I think you're going to reduce the attendance in this park and I think it's going to, they're going to find it very hard to to pay for the things that, they were, that we were going to pay for anyway, but which we're not going to be able to pay for now. And, and Tom, you're not the only one. We've been telling people all morning that pretty much every single person in this park feels exactly the same way you do. And unfortunately, you're right, there, you're, there probably is going to be a huge reduction of attendance in here. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that one of the things that they say they are going to do is, you know, you go and you pay these fees, but there's not going to be like a lot or a guard inside here. So the question still is, how are they going to enforce it to put you up in on this story as it develops? For now, reporting live from Sweet People's Park, you want to park back to the Fox 35 News. Thank you, Tiffany. This debate definitely far from over.